What did the gas surrounding the sun eventually become? The universe, the Milky Way, the solar system. Right. <laughs> solar means sun, and the solar system is the name for the sun, the planets, the comets, the asteroids, and everything else that revolves around our sun. No, the universe includes everything imaginable in outer space. No, the Milky Way refers to our entire galaxy. The sun and everything surrounding it is only a small part of our galaxy. In our solar system, nine planets revolve around the sun. What keeps the planets from simply flying away into space? Gravity, willpower, centrifugal force. Good. <laughs> the sun's gravity attracts the planets and keeps them from flying off into space. Because it's so large, the Earth has gravity too. No. Try again. Sorry. Centrifugal force makes things fly away from the center, not towards it. The Earth's gravity keeps our moon from flying off into space. What else is due to the Earth's gravity? The Earth's orbit around the sun, the Earth's round shape, the Earth's polar caps. Excellent! <laughs> the Earth is round because of the force of gravity. Gravity attracts everything to the center of the Earth. That's what gives the Earth its nice round shape. No, the sun's gravity does that. Nope. The polar caps are the snow and ice at the north and south poles. What did the astronauts once describe as the color of a cement block? The planet Mars, the surface of the Moon, the Earth seen from space. That's right. Astronauts on the Moon said that the soil and rocks were the same color as gray cement. Next time you see the moon in its path across the night sky, see if you notice its gray color. The color of Mars is orange red. The Earth looks blue and white from space. What do we call the path the moon takes as it travels around the Earth? Its gravity, its orbit, its circumference. That's it. <laughs> the moon orbits around the Earth while the Earth orbits around the Sun. If you ever circle the Earth in a spaceship. You'll also be in orbit. Gravity is the force that keeps the moon circling the Earth. Circumference is the measurement around any circle. Try again. If you orbit the Earth, you circle it from space. Who was the captain of the first ship to circle the surface of the globe? Christopher Columbus, Ferdinand Magellan, Neil Armstrong. Great. Ferdinand Magellan's ship was the first to circle or circumnavigate the globe. Magellan died before the journey around the world was finished, but his ships continued sailing according to his directions. No, Columbus was the first important European explorer of the Americas. Neil Armstrong was the first man to set foot on the moon. During a bullfight, the person fighting the bull is called what? A conquistador, a matador, a corridor. Exactly! Ha <laughs> ha! Matadors are men and women who fight bulls. If the performance is especially good, the matador gets to keep an ear from the bull. If it is superb, the matador keeps both ears. Conquistadors were the Spanish conquerors of America. No, a corridor is just another name for a hallway. If you wanted to become a matador, what continent would you most likely go to for training? Portugal, Europe. Australia. That's right. In arenas in Europe, matadors risk their lives to fight bulls. Portugal is not a continent. There's no bullfighting in Australia. Which country on the continent of Europe is most associated with bullfighting? England, France, Spain. Muy bien. Spain is the large country in Europe where most bullfighting takes place. Spain is also the place where Magellan set sail on his famous voyage around the globe. What? And spill their tea? Rubbish. Me no. That means no way. You can't smell perfume when you have a cold. What else can't you do very well if your nose is stuffed up? Talk. Hear. Taste. Exactly. Ha <laughs> ha. When you have a cold, no air can reach your smell cells. And without a sense of smell, you can't taste. 
The strong desire to smell new smells and taste new tastes first led people like Magellan to explore the globe. You can still talk, though your voice sounds different when it can't echo around in your nose. Try again! During his voyage around the world, what was Magellan seeking that gives taste to food? Fragrances, spices, perfumes. That's right! <laughs> For centuries, explorers set out on ships to find exotic spices that could be sold to people back home. Columbus went to America in search of spices, and Magellan circled the globe for the very same reason. No, fragrance is another word for odor. No, try again. Magellan set out in search of spices thirty years after Columbus. What year did Magellan circle the globe? Fourteen twenty-two, fourteen ninety-two, fifteen twenty-two. That's right. Columbus discovered America in 1492, and Magellan circumnavigated the globe in 1522. Ah、uh、ah, -uh, you answered too soon. No, 1492 is when Columbus discovered America.